Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Damien here, back out of another video. Now today, I'm going to show you guys how to report your Uber income, which is very simple, very easy. Uh, literally, it takes a couple steps, and yeah, basically, let's just get right into the video. So, right now, I'm already on TurboTax, so I'm already signed in and everything. So, you basically go on the income and expenses part. And then scroll down and you go to self employment right here. Click resist it. Did you have any self employment income or expenses? Yes, I did. Um, first, no, I'm good. Uh, no thanks. <coughs> Uber, continue. Let's confirm your Uber work. Yes, I work in rideshare driving. Continue. Okay, how does your rideshare work? Uh, sorry, how does your rideshare driving work fit into your your big picture? It was a main source of income, and it was a side job. I mean, it was a business. It was something else. I mean, it's technically all of them, but I'll just put these two. It doesn't really matter. I started driving right here in 2021. Technically, I started driving uh, for Uber in 2018, but when, but since I, I did it consecutively, it will just be 01, you know, 01, 2021, because I never stopped. And then, did you pay any employees in 2021? No, I did not. Did you make these payments for your ride share, uh, ride share driving work? Uh, paid the contractor six hundred dollars or more. Did not make the payment that required me to send a ten ninety nine form. I did not do that. Continue. Tell us if any of these less common situations apply to this work. I didn't actually. I didn't actively participate in operations with this business. It's not false. I am subject to the Department of Transportation. Hours of service limits, no, but it'll be nice. No these apply, continue. And then I basically go to scroll, scroll down and then click continue. So now I'm on, on this part where it says what companies did you write did you write your drive with in twenty twenty one? So I almost select Uber. Oh it's already well, it's already selected Uber. Click continue. And I want to import. And then you're just going to click get my form. Okay, cool. I imported it and got all my information. And now I Oh, 926, but that could change when I put my expenses. Did you have any more? I drove, drove for Lyft, but I'm not going to put that for now. Click no, continue. Now, if, if, you know, if you guys drive for Lyft or, you know, or some other, like, ratchet company, like maybe like a taxi service, you would just like the yes on, the, on that part. I'm going to click continue on this. Uh, next up, claiming. I, I know how to do it, thanks. Started. Mm, yep, it has vehicle cost. Definitely has vehicle cost. Uh, no, just vehicle and communications. And then uh, also, if you guys have bought like your vehicle, um, basically the interest part of. Your car is uh, you can you can tax it. Oh, sorry, you can be it can be uh, as an expense. So any interest that you pay for your car will be an expense for any like self employment that you do, you do like uh, as as like Uber and Lyft. <laughs> Did you have startup costs for your work? No. Did you rent a vehicle? No. Did you buy supplies?
plans to your work. I uh, did buy a car charger mounts, but uh, I don't really you know, I have receipts and I don't really keep up. So, I mean, if you guys have receipts for that, you, you could select yes, but for me, you know, I don't really keep up with it. I should. It'll save, save you some money, but, you know. Uh, okay, let's get started with the vehicle. So, I'm going to click start. Into the vehicle that you have, so mine's the Ford Fusion Auto under 6,000 pounds. When did you start using your vehicle for work? I started 24 2018. Continue. I own this vehicle now. Uh, yes, it was made for personal use. Was this before she did for personal use? Yes. Did you have another vehicle for personal use? I wish. No, I did not. Uh, yes, I tracked my work mouse for this uh, vehicle. Continue. So, for my purse, so basically, I'm, I'm going to enter the total miles. I drove in 2021, that's including uh, the miles you driven for, you know, Uber, you know, so, I think I did like 40,000, and then on this one it says, now enter the miles you drove, that, uh, sorry, it's now enter the miles you drove just for your ride to driving, uh, driving work in 2021, so be 17 to 62, oh. Sorry, 262. Cool. Continue. Continue. Uh, yeah, I'll take the standard mileage deduction. I usually take the standard mileage deduction. If if not, you guys can just say no, and then you can uh, you can like I don't know if you guys keep track of your gas and like uh tires and stuff. Like, you can uh, use that as an expense instead of your mileage. Yes. Cool. Didn't have to pay. <laughs> Only a dollar. <laughs> yes, I'll take the standard uh, mileage deduction. Parking fees. I uh, don't think I had any parking fees. Let's click continue. Cool. And did you want to claim another vehicle that you use for no? I just only have one vehicle. I'm gonna click continue. But if you did if you did have more than one vehicle, you'll click yes. So you know. Uh, communications. Now this is for like your cell phone service. So obviously I did use my cell phone a lot for uh for uh, like the uber app and then also making calls to the customer making sure that I got them so I pay about $30 a month for my for, for my cell phone and then uh, I mean like I use my cell phone for business and personal use so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I, like basically I wouldn't use that thirty dollars that full thirty dollars as a an expense I'll probably use like fifty percent of it so because I use it for both personal and business use so basically I've driven for uber for a year so thirty times twelve because it's twelve months in a year that's I believe that's three sixty and then divided by one divide by two which is one eighty. So, phone service, click continue, alright, huh, I got four bucks, <laughs> that's cool, alright, and yep, that is how you successfully do a well, that's how you successfully file your Uber income and also your expenses 
you know, I didn't have any much expenses, I just had my vehicle, and then my cell phone, you know, that's literally what most people should have, I mean, maybe some people might buy, like, car chargers or food, uh, if you buy food, you just, you know, keep track of your receipts, but I know for a fact that I have some <laughs> receipts for my cell phone, and I also have paperwork for the vehicle, because, like, uh, for the mileage, because uh, Uber actually sends me my mileage, uh, like, it shows all my tax summary, like, the mileage I, I did for the year, so, yeah, it makes my job easier, I, I can easily file my taxes in literally, like, five minutes, you know, so, yeah, it doesn't take, it's not too hard, just, you know, and also, I'm not an expert on this, so, if you guys have any problems, you can always just reach out to a tax preparer, or just act, uh, you know, just do some research, just don't, you know, like, if you don't think you're, you, you, uh, you can't do it, just stop, just have, have a professional do it, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out.